Hey guys, it's Christy with Zen 10 Lotus Tarot, and I'm just going to try and get this video out really quick. We're going to see what cards come out, see what you're dealing with. I'm using the Light Seers Tarot today. Um, a flip. Ooh, fire Energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Feeling super passionate about something. Want to send a message um, of good news, possibly, to someone. Too many. <laughs> What's this message of good news? Feeling stuck in your head about it. Kind of wanting to um, escape having to do it in some way, shape, or form. But you want to move to calmer waters. You're like, I need to get this out. I'm very passionate about it. I want to send this message, but I don't know what to say exactly. So I kind of like kind of want to remain hidden um, but I want to move to calmer waters like you're walking away from something or possibly even the idea of sending this message of love or good news or passion um, clarify that eight of cups don't want to talk out there <laughs> oh you're healing you're healing from something so um, maybe you've been quiet or resting or recovering from something maybe possibly recovering from recovering from something that kept you in your head you know uh, What's the Four of Swords? Four of Swords. I just need a minute to read these intuitively because I'm just getting a lot of message from it. Um, you're the super passionate person and it's like you have all this momentum inside you that wants you wants to send this message of hope, love, um, good news, caring, concern, whatever it is. This is a good message, it, but you're stuck in your head about it because possibly in the past you were wearing a mask of some sort and we can talk about masks all day right <laughs> like we all do it we're all guilty of it in some way shape or form and it doesn't matter even if it's for a moment's time we may get an intuitive feeling that we need to put on a mask because we're not safe you know we're not capable of opening up to people like and, and this is like you can meet someone and you've never even met them and like all of a sudden you just like want to tell them your whole life story then there's other people you come in contact with and it's like you just clam up because it's like I don't feel safe you know this person I don't feel safe around them there's something about them that I just don't I can't open up I can't be me I can't be fully who I am I can't be vulnerable for sure you know and it's like maybe in the past you wanted to open up with this person but you felt like in some way that you shouldn't or you couldn't or it wasn't right if you did um but you want to move to calmer waters you want to um walk away from that past feeling of fear you know the fear of opening up the fear of being vulnerable the fear of being stuck in your head and allowing that um that part of you that doesn't like to be vulnerable, like letting that go, walking away from it. Because the truth of the matter is, is that 
this person brings you joy, you know, or this relationship or this job opportunity or this career, it brings you joy. And it's like, you're feeling like it could even be like a business aspiration, um, something that you're super passionate about and you want to share your passion with others, but like something has kept you in your head and stuck from doing that, sharing your true self with whoever you feel like you want to share that with. Um, and, and whatever it is, it makes you like stoked out of your brains, you know what I mean? <laughs> like to do whatever it is that this endeavor is for you, whether it's in love or in career or in business. And it's like you were worried about the judgment of it, that judgment card, you know, like what will people think? What will people say? Uh, how will it be received? And, and the thing is, is that you're putting your guard down, you know, you're finally, um, getting out of that headspace of fear and anxiety and worry about judgment of others so that you can actually move forward into everything that you're passionate about. That is super boss energy, I have to say it. Um, and, and there may be a lot of competition around you. There may be a lot of gossip. There may be a lot of um, whatever it is that you're passionate about. There may be a lot of competition surrounding it. And it's like, but that I think gets you fired up as well, is that there's a lot of competition and chaos surrounding it. And maybe you're one of those people who in a space of chaos brings balance. And it's like, um, so that you actually thrive, you know, when you're in that space of learning and growing and doing and um, being, you know, and, and you feel fiery with that energy and that gets you pumped up. So um, whatever it is, you're putting your guard down and becoming vulnerable to say whatever it is that you want to say or do whatever it is that you want to do or um, get involved with whatever it is that you're passionate about when it's concerning your career or job or um, even hobbies, you know, we can get super stuck in our head of like, um, I'm really passionate about something, but I don't know what people would think if I spent some time doing that, you know, so I don't want to do it. And, and the thing is, is that um, you're being encouraged at this time to go with your gut and do it, you know, whatever lights you up, that's what keeps you vital, that's what keeps you moving, that's what keeps you alive, you know, when you're doing what you love. Clarify that judgment card, what is that? You got like <laughs> it's like you are on fire with momentum you want to move forward you uh, have a decision to make you know and the lovers talks about decisions it can also be a soul connection that you're thinking about at this time thinking about reconciling in some way thinking about moving towards somebody thinking about um, being passionate with somebody I mean, I'm just saying, that's what the cards are saying. Who are you thinking about, huh? Who is it? Clarify the lovers. But you're scared. Why are you scared? Okay, here's the thing. Fear. It's so imagined, isn't it? It's an illusion. It's like, um, if we're being our best and highest self and we're being real and raw and we take off the mask, right? Because it says here that you want to take off the mask. You're like, ah, that didn't work for me. Wearing a mask did not work for me and whatever it was that I'm passionate about. So I have to take that mask off in order to be vulnerable, in order to get what I want, the goods, the prize, you know, the one, the win, the W, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's like, you have to make a decision. Um, you're stuck in your head about it. You're having like some anxiety, some sleepless nights, possibly even some fears uh, that haunt you. You know, maybe fears of regret, maybe fears of uh, past L's, you know, the big like rejection or something like that. And, and that can keep us stuck and stagnant from ever doing anything we want. You know, our past experiences of regret our past experiences of uh, being rejected in some way, um, but you're watching, you know, and you're observing and you're noticing and there's things that 
you're seeing that you like in something, whether it's business, whether it's relationship, whether it's a person um, you're watching and you're just like in your head about it. Like, I got to do something. I got to take this mask off. I got to be myself. I got to just leap, you know, in faith and walk in faith and not by sight and say what I want to say and do the things I want to do that make me happy. The things that light me up, the things that make me want to get out of bed in the morning. You know what I mean? If you're not doing what makes you happy in life, I mean, you shrivel up and die. And I, and I mean, that's a real shitty way to say it. And sorry if I offend anybody in that, but it's like the truth. You know, you can either decide to wake up and love your life or you can shrivel up and die, literally. And, and that goes for anything, you know, like whatever it is in our life. If we're not on fire about things in some way, something that gets us motivated enough to get out of bed in the morning to do something different. It's like, what do we have left to live for, you know? And, and that's the space that we never, ever want to get into is that feeling of nothingness, that feeling of apathy, that feeling of, um, oh, well, whatever, who cares, autopilot. I go to work, I go home, I go to sleep, I wake up, I go to work, I come home, I go to sleep because it's very unhealthy, you know, to not have passion for something. Now, if you are a lucky son of a gun and you get to like get up every day and go to work and do exactly what you freaking love and what lights you up, you're blessed beyond measure because not everybody has that um, beauty, that bliss of feeling uh, fulfilled when it comes to whatever it is that we're working for or whatever company that we work for or whatever job title we have, you know, it's like but spirit is encouraging you at this time that if it's not in a workspace, make sure that you're fired up about love, you know, a love of another person. Make sure you're fired up about um, a hobby, a project, an idea, a goal for yourself. Even if you journal every single day about things that you want for yourself, start doing little actions that put you on a path to feel purposeful in life. You know, it, I mean, this is, okay, I'm going to give you some mom advice 